Sometimes I think the problem lies within when the buyer wants to come and get a property, really, like Clark mentioned earlier, on pennies on the dollar. Right. And it's not. It may be cents, right? Not pennies. <laughs> <laughs> we can get a cents on the dollar, yeah. not a pennies on the dollar. And you're going to get us the dollars for those properties. What That's other right. type of financing do you have for our buyers at this we, time? It's, hold on a second. Remember to get your pen and pencil, please, because this is important. Thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> Well, there are different types of financing. Not everybody that has become a homeowner has to be rich and perfect. Mm -hmm. it, there are some buyers that have more difficulties and some buyers that have le less difficulties. Mm -hmm. If we have a buyer that um, is just not making enough money in the bank's eyes to qualify for a particular house, and it might be just 100 or $200 away, from qualifying for that home, mm -hmm. and they need an assistant of somebody else, we have programs that will get the buyer in still with the 3% down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with no compensating factors, mm -hmm. as long as we can have a non-occupying co-buyer or an occupying co-buyer, better yet. But if a non-occupying co-buyer can come in, uh, let's just say if it's my child, Mm -hmm. I own a home. I'm not going to move in with my child. It's all pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're moving into a smaller place than what I have. Mm -hmm. Once I deduct all my liabilities I st and I still have a good amount of residual income, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm able to co-sign for my son and fully disclose that I will not move in with my son mm -hmm. or my daughter. Mm -hmm. And um, they will still qualify with my income to boot. And you can use, you can use a friend, a cousin, a relative, grandpa, grandma, sister, brother, it does not have to be just, you know, first sibling. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they can go on the loan with you. If they're going to occupy with you, that's even better. If they don't, mm -hmm. I still have programs that will fit you with an unoccupied co buyer, which is a major benefit right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, I have people, um, what I, me and Dan discussed about a week ago, we have programs with people if they have a first and a second loan right now in their current home. Mm -hmm and they come to you guys, they say, we don't know what to do, we're mm -hmm. upside down in the value, and our loan's gonna go adjustable. Right. We still have programs that will go upside the value and refinance your first note to even pull cash out of it, as oh, long as it wow. makes sense, um, as long as you have equity, at least on your first loan. Mm. Even that if you don't have quality on the combined loan. Wow, that's plan. very exciting. Yeah. Now, we've been talking at, up to this time to first time home buyers mainly, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, right. let's make a shifting and let's talk about investors. Right. Is it a good time to invest for an investor at this time, Clark? You know, it's a good question. Lamora and I were talking about this a little bit before the show, who's buying houses, and uh, we are seeing more investors coming into the marketplace as prices are becoming more attractive. And the reason is you can buy a house today rent it out and have positive cash flow more so than than a year right. ago or right. two years ago uh, so it depends it's a, it's an excellent time to buy as an investor if you have the right plan uh, if your plan is to buy it fix it and flip it we're not seeing as many of those i won't say it's impossible but in this market because we're not seeing rapidly appreciating prices it's a lot harder to do rental income and long-term investing at this point in the game is an excellent move and lamore can help not only homeowners, but investors as well. That's what, correct. Excellent. But what do you have for in, our investors? What plans do you have? And I think a lot of before you answer that, let me tell you some, something that, that Clark said that really is extremely important. Please have a plan in place. A good deal, a good opportunity is not good if it doesn't fit your plan. Before you run and buy that investment property, sit down and write a plan. What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? How many properties do I want to buy this year? Have a plan. If that fits your plan, please run. Don't walk. Run and buy that one. And now, with you anymore. Tell us how. A lot of the investors right now, um, they have a good amount of money to invest, but they're not able to document um, their income. A mm -hmm. lot of them are self-employed. They write a lot of things off on the taxes, but they really have a lot more income than what they declare on paper. Mm -hmm. We still have stated income uh, available even for investments, 20 to 25% down. Okay. And we're able to get them stated income loan without documentation. We need to document.